And with relative ease, a short rise in delivery, um, pulled away backward of square for four. Ambrose is four. Yes. Swan is peeling off the edge and goes down to the boundary at a wide third man position for four. Yes, but see, I did have that information, but you know, with all the, the work that we've been doing, too. This one is scooped over the short fine legs, head down to the boundary. Another boundary here for Salt Pond Breakers who move on to 16. 16 without loss. This is over number two. 17. This time it is just over the head of the middle of a fielder. Down to the boundary uh, for another four. Ambrose has. has this one is going all the way onto the bleachers. This is another sunset smasher over the lawn boundary. Playing with so much, you pick the best players and um, let them be part of your team. A magnificent catch! A really, really good catch by Shaman Hooper. This is probably his second or third of, 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 of those types of catches that he has taken in the competition. And this is a big, big wicket. In the offside. But this has gone in the wrong slot. and But the right slot here uh, for I make it. Delon Johnson allowed to, to free his arms. He went through the line over the wide long on. Uh, uh, good comeback, a really good comeback. Yorkland delivery right. here by Lyndon James. He must be pleased uh, with, with this comeback. 83 for four, Mikey. One delivery remaining in this inning. Well, he hadn't played for a while, but um, he came along quite well and made it into a nice, a uh, very nice competition. Sky, skying one down to long on, and I, I want to dare say the safe hands of, of a Shaman Hooper comes around and takes another catch. That's the end of the Salt Pond Breakers innings. They end on 83. I make it 83 for six. 83 for six. Uh oh, that's a good delivery, and he gets the wicket. Uh, he gets the wicket there. That one seemed to be a bit of an off cut. I came in to the batsman there and there was Cody and he missed it and he was right in front of his stump and a judge LBW by, by off umpire yeah. Sintile. Yeah. And that one is driven through the extra cover region by 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 Hooper. He found the gap. It was airily played, but it was in the gap and once you find the gap that is what is important. Well, well Lyndon gets a lot of batons to that one. And that one whistles away behind square for six, quite a flat hit as well. And this is what I was talking about, because Benetton, very talented cricketer, but he... Graves whips this away, it's gonna go into the boundary. That's definitely gonna go into the boundary. Ned, uh, a gallant effort, but that uh, part of, 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 of the surface here, the outfield here, that is, is really, really, really quick. And he Well, probably moving around just a touch too, too much. In this case, he uh, was trying to put this into the onside and it came off of the bat onto the stumps. Matthews is gone. Another wicket falls for the Dagby Explorers. And that's gone for a sunset smasher over the deep mid-wicket boundary. Darren Graves, he has decided that he is going to allow us some excitement at the end here. He goes in the same direction, this time into the hands of Benetton Stapleton, or is it, is it, um, Arnold Thomas? Oh, no, Thomas? Arnold Thomas, Arnold Thomas come to be uh, taking that catch and uh, uh, trying to repeat what he did uh, the delivery before. He smashes it into the cover area, deep cover area, and it's two is uh, going, is he? No, he did not make it. A good return. Ah, good return there by Stapleton. Benetton Stapleton. And the feeling is, is getting on top here. And well executed there again by Straw. And that's and the end uh, uh, of it. Yeah, yeah so that, that's, that's the end of this match. They have only gotten as far as 63 runs so it's a solid win there for the Southern Breakers which will see them topping the table in the preliminary rounds